Oh, this is gonna be bad to record. Wait, the intro. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be a bit difficult to record, but what's going on guys? It's me, Waylo. Welcome back to Luigi's Mansion. I have a new setup this time, but I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna hop straight into this. Now in the last episode, we, uh, defeated the- f we visited the first area. Where to, Luigi? The problem was, the last time, I wasn't even doing any dialogue. I was just playing a game, like, as a walkthrough. But this time, I'll read most of the dialogue. And if I need to cut some things out, I will. Alright, let's begin. Gloomy Manor. Gear up. I might as well read the bottom screen. Now that you properly equipped, let's find those Dark Moon pieces. Paranormal re readings are stronger in the north rooms of Gloomy Manors, so we should start a search there. A2, gear up. Let's play. Ready for some more action? Aye, you're courageous, lad. You know, you remind me of myself at your age, feller. Ho ho, those were the days. Anywho, we need to start searching for the rest of the Dark Moon. Luckily, I've got the invention to make our job easier. I call it the Periscope. The tip top of the device that detects messages, measures, and distinct paranormal signals. In fact, I just used it to scan the gloomy manor, and I found some... Strong activity in the north rooms. That's where we'll start our search. How dare you laugh at me. I better turn this up. Ho ho, you haven't changed a bit, my boy. There's no reason to be scared now. You're equipped with my mighty Poltergust 5000. Now details. There's a machine mechanism that controls the access to that section. The access of the mechanism is the foyer. I'll give you instructions once you get there. And the bottom screen shows the, the foyer. Alright, I might as well just show you guys. It's going to be more easier to record and show the bottom screen of DS and 3DS games. So as I was, before I was, before I started reading dialogue, um, I decided to play this because Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Without Partners is going to be on hold for now. I'm going to skip the cutscene for now. I, I I honestly forgot the controls. I saw someone play this last night. Can I leave? Oh, I can go outside. I better go collect some gold while I'm out here. Alright, it's been quite a while since I've played this, so... Money? Yeah. Alrighty. I honestly prefer this version. Oh, hey, a gem. And we got the first, or the second gem. Oh, gosh, she's already calling. Yellow. Doing some gemstone hum hunting on side, eh, feller? I can't say I blame you. Those gems are one of a kind. Worth a fortune, I reckon. But remember, you got a job to do. You'll have time to look at your gems in the, later in the vault. Carry on, youngster. Ciao. Okay, I think that's all I came out for. Um, and I need to backtrack. I'm trying to 100% this game as much as I can. So I need to backtrack over to here. Splash that. And grab the gemstone that's out here. There we go. And that is the first gem, so I guess I got them a bit out of order. Alright, I'm trying to... Wonder, I might actually... Uh, I have to come back anyway, so I'm going to try to get the stuff on time, like a three-star rank. But, and I don't need checking there now, anyway. At first, I was, like, stuck there when I played this game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, what are you doing? Red Ghost Guy. They look completely different compared to Luigi's Mansion 3. I don't know why they have the same style. 
Like, why do? Why can't they just make it like Luigi's Mansion One, where they have unique uh, portrait ghosts instead of like just doing the same old stuff? Like, I just don't understand that. So, um, I'm assuming he's gonna call. Yep. I like how every time he got calls, Luigi jumps. All right. Dang blast ghost. Luigi, those brutes just stole the gears from the access mechanism I told you about. I'll, t I'll use the periscope to find the, um, on the, then you can use the map on the DS to hunt him down. Ho ho ho. The terrified look in your eye just gave me a great idea. From now on, I'm going to call you, call the DS. This is genius. The dual screen. Ho ho. Ho <laughs> ho. Dual screen. Ho <laughs> ho. Interact with the map on the dual screen and locate. The map has a whole slew of features to be messed around. But now, I got, for now, go get those goat gears. Look back. Look lively. Alright, our, recover all the stolen gears. Alright, let's go here first. What the? Oh, that's the key to it. Where are you going, you darn ghost? Alright, let's follow him. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Luigi. Mice. I don't think it can get you if you're running. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> and pretty straightforward. Hey, hey! Yeah, I'm in for a ride for this game because this game's very long, and I'm not one of those YouTubers willing to waste like hours. I mean, the most I can go playing a game is like, what the the wall, the mouse just climbed up the wall. What the heck? The most I can go put the most effort I can put into a game is like thirty minutes or so. Grab this moolah. Okay, I grabbed it. All right, let's uh, let's go down here. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Eh eh. Oh wait, let me horn it up. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised not many people know about that, like, not many people know about the, the, uh, jump ability, where you can jump while sucking up, or vacuuming ghosts. Okay, come on, Luigi, do you really, oh my gosh, Luigi. All right, is he going to call? Professor Tooth One Tooth? Professor One Tooth did not call, surprisingly. That's, that's what I'm going to call Mr. E Professor Egad now. Because let's be honest, he literally has one tooth. So that's why I, I'm calling him Professor One Tooth. All right, uh, let's let's go upstairs, I guess. Oh yeah, this part. Also, oh, this game is pretty much the exact copy from the HD remake. So this could be a guide from for the HD remake if you really wanted it to be. What the? I don't understand what these things are. I saw you, buddy. No, come back here, you. Oh, did he come in here? Come over here. Suck you up. Oh, yeah, busted. You should be clear. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't clear up. Watch him call me again. Ooh, what's this? Money? 
Oh, it's a heart. I don't need hearts. I have no soul. <laughs> Remember that SpongeBob episode? Okay, that must be locked or blocked or whatever. Please don't call me Egad. I get annoyed when you do that. So we're going to have to find a way up. I haven't played this game in a while, so honestly, I do not know what to do. Ooh, secret. I love secrets. Oh, hey, a key. Okay. Uh, I wonder what that unlocks. Oh, oh, that's why I see. <laughs> you don't see me, dude. Okay, yeah. Don't <laughs> Luigi like, huh? Oh, what's it going on in there? So wait, where do I go? Is the question. What room was locked? It's like I'm thinking a bit too hard about it, but like, it's not really that hard. That can be taken out of context on a no- No, that room's locked though, so um... What do I do again? Let's see. Let's go in here again, because I think I'm missing something. Let's see, what am I missing? Do I mess with this? No. Where do I go? What do I do? Um, I'm actually at a loss right now. I honestly forgot what I was doing. Like, I've played this game before, like, don't get me wrong. And just... No, that has a pile of whatever on it. This is gone. I know there's supposed to be a door there. Um, let's go. I think that means it's locked. So I'm assuming it's it was locked. So that's going to be my guess for now. Yep, it was locked. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb, dude. Let's go in here first. Oh boy. We got the scary music. Is it... Is it actually 241? Ah, uh, that's off. I wonder if that clock is supposed to be right, though. Oh, hey, I got... I got a medal thingy. Is that... That's my third medal, okay? So I'm right on track. That's nice. Oh, shoot. Alright. Suck them up. Honestly, it's easier to get these guys in this game compared to Luigi's Mansion 3. Because, like, in Luigi's Mansion 3, it's, like, super... It, actually, no, it's harder. I, I changed my mind now. Because in Luigi's Mansion 3, you got that uh, little ability where you can slam them on the ground or whatever. What's in here? Oh, there's that gem. So I think that's later on with the spider mission. I've played this game before, don't get me wrong. I know that. I know by heart that that door right there is a fake door. Like. Like, I've played this game, like, almost five times. There's just one part I always get stuck in, and that's the, uh. That's the part with. Like, the last level for the. For the snow section thingy. Oh, 
We can wait. Yep, got him. Get him, got him good. Yeah, come here. You falling right onto my trap, yo. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I got a golden dog bone. Wow, that cutscene was playing. Wonder if you get. I think that glitched the game where to where uh. What the hell? To where. I think that glitched the game to where like I bypassed the. The bone. Call where he calls me for getting a bone. So at least I got a golden dog bone now. Oh, you're in here. Nice. Nice one, buddy. You got... You, you're done. You're done for dinner. Yep. Catch you. Yeah, you thought. You thought, buddy. Now the red guy should be here somewhere. Yep. And I think we're done after this. This game is very long, because cause you're supposed to be playing these levels as fast as you can. Alright, now all we have to do is like run in circles, but you gotta call us. Like that. <laughs> I love every time. Oh shoot, touch the screen to answer. Luigi, how, does, how goes it, my boy? You found all four gears that quick? Ho ho! Well, you got there in the end, son. Good work, Sonny. I head back to the foyer and put the gears back into access mechanism. Alright, let me do exactly that. I don't understand what you said, but I'm pretty sure I got it clear. Alrighty, let's put it in. Um, let's see. Luigi... <laughs> Luigi is not meant to be a mechanic. I don't understand. Jumpy calls me every five seconds, though. I suppose I'll have to repair them in order to make them work. Well, at least you recovered all of them. It looks like you've captured very, some interesting ghosts. I can't wait to check them out. I'm bringing you back now. Alright, we did it. Alright, that's nice. Hello, guys. <laughs> Mission complete. Let's see. 11 minutes. 16 goes. I should get a 3 star. Oh, I only got 2. Alright. Um, let's go back to the lab and then I'll sign off there. Saving. Okay, I like how it auto saves it, and I don't like how it won't focus. Oh boy, what if my pixels pixels got messed up at some point? Actually, I'm pretty sure that does happen in the game. Spoiler alert! If you don't like spoilers, then do not watch my videos of the 3DS Let's Play. Even though some streamers, <coughs> Purple Phoenix, will um get it done. Uh, quicker than me. Now, let's unload the poultry gust and see what kind of ghosty goodies you've got. Alrighty. So, we... Okay, wait. Okay, Luigi. We get it. Skip. Oh, wait. I skipped the whole thing. I was right. These new ghosts are very interesting indeed. Such spectacular specimens. And they won't be making any more trouble for us now that they're in the vault. In the vault, you can review all the types of ghosts that you've captured. And while you're there, feel free to read my research notes on their ghostly behavior. Analyzing... Yep. Alrighty. So we completed Gear Up in this episode. In the next episode, we will be doing Quiet Please. Stay tuned to that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye!